Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with the message from spirit. So how are you all doing? How was your weekend? Was it dynamic is kind of the word I want to use with like one foot in each world and observations and interaction and rest and surrender and all of those things. I'm curious to hear Oops, how it was. Um, I think that's too many spirit. Okay. Um, maybe they're telling me to get going. This week, Spirit was all about tarot, tarot, tarot. So we're using tarot today. I'm using the holographic tarot. And uh, let's just obviously dive in because the cards are jumping. So there's something important here. So let's see what it is. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, Spirit, a new week, new energy. Okay. Four, four, four is a really big number this week. Um, an energy too of I'm coming home. I'm hearing the song, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. I don't know how the rest of it goes. That's what they're playing over and over. There's an aspect of you, either a soul fragment aspect coming home, emerging in multiple timelines coming home, you coming home to yourself and your recognition of who you are. Again, there's a coming home factor at play here. And uh, that makes sense. 444 is like a really grounding, structured, stable number. It can represent uh, home as well. Interesting, coming home. So I've already cut the deck. Let's see what's here. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. One more. Yeah. Okay. So this is really interesting. I really like this. So first card out, I don't want you to panic is the tower in reverse. Now there's only a few cards in the deck that I will take as reversed when they come out. And that's usually the hangman and the tower. And again, these are just my rules, not even rules. It's just kind of how I read tarot. Tarot, there are rules to follow in it, and then once you know them, you also create it within your own flow, okay? For me, Hangman and Tarot, I will take when they come in reverse and there's an energy with it. Sometimes cards are just in reverse. Other times, though, there's an energy, a frequency that moves through my body real fast when the card comes out, and I know to take it in reverse. And this card came out first in reverse. Now, the reason why I think this is fantastic is many of you through the month of May went through a tower moment or there was a culmination of tower moments. And tower moments are like when life crumbles, relationships crumble, uh, maybe you suddenly have to move or a friendship ends or you get really sick or there's a purging or something. It's these crumbling moments. And you know what's interesting actually as I'm talking about this this aligns with what I'm talking about in Cosmic Consciousness on June 12th. I have to do it a bit early this month, but June 12th, we're talking about purgings, um, death and illness and why. These are like tower moments, right? And there's so much purpose to it. So I just, again, spirit always knows what they're talking about. I mean, we're right on, right on the money of the new month. Anyways, all to say, Many of you have gone through this and because of this having passed and it's over, we're going to drop that. There is an energy of coming home. Six of cups, six of cups can represent something from a past life coming back to you. Can be a past relationship coming back to you in the energy of what we're talking about though. I want to say these are like soul fragments of self, just like I mentioned in the beginning, coming back to you, uh, mergings, um, a coming home to self. There is a reunion of sorts coming in that can be relationship as well. There's many ways that this card can show itself, but what's important to recognize is this reunion energy. Because of the towers, because you've been able to clear space in your heart, in your soul, in your energy, in your environment, there's room for this beautiful reunion. I really think that's why Spirit's singing that song. So this is beautiful. Now, what I really like is with the next card we have out is Page of Wands. 
this is an energy of that like spark of movement. It's coming in. And what's beautiful is this page of wands is paired with the ace of pentacles. An ace of pentacles represents a new beginning, a universal new beginning. You can see this hand is coming out from the cloud with a pentacle on it. Pentacles represent earthly life. It can represent money, but it can represent tangible things, material things, uh, physical people in your life. This is the universe offering, bringing forward new tangible beginnings, new opportunities, but they're coming in quickly because they're paired with the energy at the Page of Wands. And again, that's because this tower went from happening to over with. And we're getting this energy of coming home. And it's a very physical, tangible way. So that's why I find this very cool, really neat start to our Monday is with this tangible piece. And to echo that, Spirit is like, and again, the reason why this has happened is because you, regardless of gender or gender identification, are embodying the energy of the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is someone who sits on her throne, recognizing what it took to get there, to journey through all of the swords. And the swords represent the mind. And she has cut through a lot of the, the um, drama and garbage, which is something I talk about in the June energy update. So, I mean, it's a nice little uh, insert here, but check out the June energy update, which is posted today, because it covers this piece. Because you have been willing to cut through the muck, cut through the drama and all of that, you now sit on this throne. And because you took this tower and you ended here, you have manifested in a very physical way this essence of coming home. Coming home to self, coming home to partnership, coming home to whatever it might be. Huge, huge, huge reunion energy of some sort in a very physical, tangible way is coming in now this month for you, this week also, because of the work that you did. Because of the work that you did here, that you cleared out the clutter in your mind, it's coming in. So this, to me, is a real strong start to the week. And again, it just makes sense with the energies that have been coming up and how it's moving along and all of that. So I give you so much credit with that. And uh, what a strong start to the week. So again, I definitely invite you to check out the podcast today. There's more insights about what the June energy is all about. So check that out. And uh, yeah, thank you as always for your comments, your kindness. It means a lot. I definitely appreciate you. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a beautiful rest of your day.